In this example, you might think you need to FOIL because you have two binomials in parentheses here and here. But the purpose of this example is to show you that if you look inside the parentheses, you might see you can replace it with something simpler. For example, if you take the Pythagorean identity from your formula sheet and subtract 1 from both sides, you get tangent squared x equals exactly what you have in the parentheses secant squared x minus 1. So secant squared x minus 1 is going to get replaced with tangent squared of x. Now the next set of parentheses has something a little more complicated looking. I put here this big foil with a cross out so you can see that you don't always foil. For the identity for the expression in the right set of the parentheses, start with sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Subtract 1 from the right side of the equal sign, and then again on the left. Subtract cosine squared from the left of the equal sign, and then again on the right. And then you're left with exactly what's in the parentheses, sine squared x minus 1. And you're going to replace sine squared x minus 1 with cosine squared of x. Now this here, this big 2, that's a typo. This whole expression is not supposed to be equal to sine, negative sine of 2x. It's supposed to be negative sine squared of x. So here we go. Now we can replace secant squared x minus 1 with tangent squared of x. And then we can replace sine squared of x minus 1 with negative cosine squared of x. Now we're going to rewrite tangent using the quotient identity, sine over cosine. So sine squared x over cosine squared x. Multiply that by negative cosine squared of x over 1, and you can see the cosines cancel, and you're left with negative sine squared of x on the left, and negative sine squared of x is what they told you to make it look like. So now you're done. I have here where I tried to foil it, just to show you what a mess it would be if you tried to foil it and it just gets completely out of hand. You get a tangent squared x, another tangent squared x, and you lay those all out next to each other, and it's a huge mess that's difficult to combine. This one is much simpler if you rename what's in the parentheses first using the trigonometric identities on your formula sheet. Try that one on your own.